Ben is 25 years old and he's living in his own apartment, which is beyond our wildest dreams. He was diagnosed at age three. When we finally got a diagnosis of autism, it was a relief that, okay, now we know what to call it. Ben was not speaking. Not only was he not speaking, he was not responding to language. So he didn't respond to his name. He didn't respond to common commands like come, stop, stand up. He didn't respond to anything. And that's what was very heartbreaking in the beginning is realizing that he didn't know who he was and he didn't know who we were. No sense of his place in space. Do you know, I remember when Ben started kindergarten, um, the teacher said, so Mrs. McGann, what are your expectations for Ben? And I said, my expectations are that he will learn and matriculate the kindergarten curriculum. And she said, oh, ha, 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 no, really, what, what do you really expect? And I just realized then that, you know, this isn't gonna work. Ben's dad and I agreed that we didn't know where this journey was gonna take us, but we were gonna hit the wall at full speed. We're not gonna give up on this kid. We have the flashcards with sign language because we realized he needed a way to communicate. So we would hire students and come do after school therapy with Ben, tutoring with Ben. We hired teachers to come and teach Ben. The, the speech grad students are coming in and we're just throwing everything we have at this kid. I remember calling the speech therapist and said, you know what, it's been great, you've been wonderful, he's made amazing progress, but it's clear he's not gonna speak. And it was at that time that his therapist said, I just want to try one more thing. I've just heard about this new approach and I just want to try with Ben. Within weeks, Ben was expressing thoughts that we never knew he had. He, he demonstrated comprehension. He demonstrated uh, analytical thinking, critical thinking. He, de he demonstrated wit to be a mom. And having been told for years what your child will never do, what your child will never learn, what your child will never accomplish. And then at this stage for him to be able to pick up the board and say, mom, I love my life. You know, it, it's, it, is, so, it is so vindicating. And what you learn once they're able to communicate is they remember everything. What's your name? Do you remember her? Yeah. Answer. What's your name? Sansa. Wow, Ben. Answer. Mm -hmm. You were so Sansa. young in Nairobi. Sansa. How do you remember this? Sansa. You know, one thing is that, that, you know, when you leave the schools, you know, they, they want you to, to, you know, get a job or, or go to college and just, you know, these are things that most people do. So Ben wanted it all. He said, I want to go to college and I want to get a job. I want to live in my own apartment. And my husband and I were like, Wow. Once we accepted that, then you think, okay, so how are we going to make this work? Okay, so he's going to be an apartment. And for your disabled child to become independent and, and uh, able to make decisions and choices for themselves, just really, I think, increases your commitment to make certain they can do so safely. And again, that's where safe and home comes in. Yeah, I just think that, you know, you always talk about the supports that are needed to help an individual be independent. What are the gaps that you need to fill? You know, we need to make sure that we address the security issues. Yep. And then we also needed to make sure that we give him the tools that he needs so that he can make the right choices. Safe at home is, is an important part of Ben's toolbox so that he can make good choices. This isn't the end of the transition. You know, the next stage of the transition is when we're not here to talk with Safe at Home, and we're not here to ask that he load the medicine uh, dispenser. And you're hoping that we use this period of time so that he builds the skills that he needs to go forward in his later years. What do you want to say to the audience yeah. about yeah. people who yeah. have autism yeah. Yeah. and you've accomplished yeah. so yeah. much? Yeah. What do you want people to yeah. know yeah. about what people with autism yeah. can do? Yeah. Yeah.
He says, I'm smart, I am not broken, just different.